Assuming you have unlocked the bootloader, installed a custom recovery on the OnePlus 5, you can then go ahead and install other modifications like a custom ROM and a custom kernel. And today I'm going to show you how to install a custom ROM on the OnePlus 5. So to start we're going to need to download a couple of things ahead of time. First we're going to need to download the custom ROM itself. That will come in the form of a zip file. This can be anything from Lineage OS to Resurrection Remix or any other compatible custom ROMs for the OnePlus 5. And we're going to need to download an OpenGApps package for the OnePlus 5. This will need to be the ARM64 version. The Android version needs to match the same Android version of the custom ROM you're installing. And then the actual type of package can be anything you want. I believe I chose Nano. But it just depends on how many G apps you want installed. Those two files need to be on the internal storage of the OnePlus 5. And once that's done, we can go ahead and reboot the OnePlus 5 into recovery mode. Which, as mentioned before, should be TWRP. And before we begin here, you should definitely have a recent Nandroid backup that has been made. Just in case something goes wrong with this custom ROM, whether it be an incorrect version or it was just installed improperly for whatever reason, go ahead and have a recent backup on, on file. And then once you're done, we're going to tap the wipe button. Then we're going to go advanced wipe. And then we're just going to do a full wipe of everything except the internal storage. Well, some things like the cache and the USB OTG is likely not going to be important, but just go ahead and do a full wipe of everything except the internal storage. Because if we wipe the internal storage, then we delete the two zip files that we just deleted that we just downloaded so as we can see here that we got an error on the USB OTG which again is not a big deal as I mentioned you don't even need to select that so if you want you can just wipe this way and keep internal storage and USB OTG that way and again, as you can see, you won't get an error there. So once that's done, tap the Home button. Then we're going to tap the Install button. And first we're going to tap on the custom ROM that we downloaded, which is Lineage in this case. And if you want, you can install this right now, but I'll go ahead and tap the Add More Zips button. And then I'm going to add the OpenGApps zip file to the install queue. And once that's done, we can just swipe the white arrows to the right to begin the install. If you wanted to, you could just install the custom ROM first. And then go back and then install the OpenGApps if you'd like. You don't even have to have Google Apps installed if you don't want them. It's all up to you. So the install of the custom ROM didn't take very long at all. The amount of time OpenGApps takes to install will depend on which package you downloaded. You can see I downloaded the Nano package, which is one of these smaller ones that are offered. I 
Once that's done, we can go ahead. You can wipe the cache if you want to. Not a big deal, not important. But we just want to tap on the reboot system button. And that's going to reboot our OnePlus 5. And it's going to take up to the activation screen for the custom ROM we just installed. In this case, it is Lineage OS. And since we wiped everything and we're starting with a fresh install of Android, this first boot cycle is going to take longer than normal. So just be patient while the custom ROM gets everything set up. And then it's going to take us right into the Android activation screen. If you do run across a boot loop here, or the boot animation staying this way for more than 15 minutes I would say just to be generous then you can power off the OnePlus 5 by holding down the power button boot back into TWRP maybe you try the install again there may have just been a hiccup during that install you can try to re-download and then move those files back to the over to the OnePlus 5 with a USB cable or you can just restore from your previously created Nandroid backup the key point is to just be patient during this first boot cycle because this is going to take a few minutes to get everything set up 